Okay. <clears throat> so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna learn Svelte. It's a uh, uh, one of the web frameworks, and uh, I'd like to show you how I use Inkdrop to take notes uh, while learning this new framework. I I don't know anything about this framework, so it'll be interesting to show you. Uh, how I learn uh, new technologies. Um, yes, so let's do it. So I'm gonna turn it around, run spelt JS. Yep, well, something like that. Well, <clears throat> so what is what is this? Oh, by the way, I I set up that I drive to try the new microphone setup. It, it is uh, this is a, a Zenheiser uh, MX six hundred. So uh, I hope this the sound quality is uh, good enough, and you can hear the uh, better keyboard sound at the same time. And I'm using the Yamaha AG zero three uh, as a mixer and uh, go through the. Uh, my my laptop here, yes. And uh, yeah, this is uh, my terminal. And okay, so what is spelled? Spelled. Right. Let's go. It's a React call uh, in Svelte. You can write like that. No, no. view, view. It's a view. <laughs> Top elements binding Svelte state. Oh, I don't understand. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's try this tutorial. Mm. Print for color printing. Yes, please. Pretty for color modeling. Yes, please. Play right browser. I don't know what's play right. By test for unit testing. All right. Oh, okay. And we run dev. And what should I do? Okay, let me run dev. And it's a local host. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. So, okay. So it's using byte, and I'm running byte dev at the moment. It's prettier. It's using prettier for formatting. And check spelled kit. Spelled kit. What's spelled kit? Hmm. <laughs> prettier spelled check. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
<coughs> it's a template and this world generates a header here <coughs> and the body goes here makes sense roots roots plus layout spelled plus layout okay so i don't have a uh, highlight to use install spelled maybe yeah cool so js yeah, it's similar to Astro Astro JS, oh. but it's for building web apps. So it's more uh, interactive. To your new spell, plus page page spelled. Okay. So here is a counter, counter dot spelled. It has a, <coughs> it has counter div, counter div. Hmm. about not exist so it consists of counter and header components components UI framework that uses a uh, compiler to let you uh, 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 okay okay yeah so it's something like uh, So it's a framework, but Svelte is also a framework, right? Uh, but it's only for like a uh, uh, React, and it, it does nothing to uh, build the transpile, the JS or TypeScript files. Yes, I guess it's right. And yeah, 
so I don't have to care about spreadkit at the moment. It's for server-side rendering, router, and uh, pre-optimization, offline support, pre-loading. Yeah, it's, it's like uh, Next.js, I guess. Well, so you can write the header and about 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 is here. Mm. So write the rolling is. I'm reloading this available. Kids, spell tab to learn spell kit. Yes. Introduction basics, hello world. Counter. Hmm, it's interesting. So you can write event handler directly uh, to the uh, button HTML, uh, like quick event. Hmm. Oh, it's for minus. So if you change the value to the, okay. <coughs> About. About. About page dot ts about page about this app about this app hmm. spelled head so it's like a uh, uh, helmet helmet module about hmm. csr we don't need any JS on this page, so we'll load it in dev so that we get hot module replacement. Mm. Since there is no dynamic data here, we can pre-render it so that it gets served as a service at introduction. Pre-render, it enables pre-render. Okay, that's what Svelte Kit does. Mm. Next, adding the red script, hello world, hello world, Con so where is counter, 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 okay, and let's make another, let's make another component like this one hello world oops about hmm I think the other time hmm hmm I don't know but let's say spelt badge and Nothing happens as expected. Script run TS. Oh, it's interesting. So script tag can you can write type script inside a script tags. Ooh. Script run equal TS. All right. Message hello world. Something like that. And uh, script red name word hello world hello world message cool 
it works. What is dollar sign? Dollar column displayed count. Hmm. What is this? Yeah, it's mostly like React. You can reuse the knowledge uh, from React. Show me, show me. Oh, huh, huh. <laughs> okay. Dynamic attributes. A man dances. Image source, short hand, shoot real. Mm. Yeah, styling, styling, H one. But it doesn't affect other components, right? It's also H1, but it doesn't uh, get changed the color, text color. All right. So it's like uh, React, uh, no, it's a uh, uh, style in JS. JS styled components, it's like uh, styled components. Hmm, it's interesting. Hmm. You can write components and um, you can you can write type script directory inside the script tags mm. it's interesting right yes mm. okay In Svelte, you do this. What is this dollar sign? I don't understand that. Dollar sign. Dollar sign. Oh, it's for maybe for defining the state, I guess. It's for state. Reactivity assignment. Assignments. Count, increment, count. Hmm. No. So you can write, you can define variables directly inside the screen. It doesn't need data sign. What's this? Look, oops. <laughs> yeah, here it is, doubled. Doubled. Style reactivity not only keeps the DOM in sync. But reactivity not only keeps the DOM in sync with your application's variables as shown in the purpose section, it can also keep variables in sync with each other using React declarations. They look like this. 
also keep variables in sync with each other. Each other. What is each other? Don't worry. It's valid. Just good. We run this code whenever any of the referenced value change. We run. Oh. Let's use dub. Module oh. display count display count. So, so it's using for it's used for accomplishing this change animation transition, I guess. Uh, so it's offset, <coughs> it's offset. Count of digits translates. Makes sense. Uh, okay, so this he, this line uh, gets run uh, whenever the display count changed. Ah, uh, count changed, I guess. Display count. Spring. Spring. Okay, it's yeah, it's so it using spring. What is spring? So it's for uh, animation, spirit motion, spelt motion. Nothing changed. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's interesting. Cool. So spring does that. And the example uses this spring function to accomplish the transition animation. Display the count, set count, set count, display the count, display the count, okay. Uh, well, so this data signs like uh, like a Joe tie at Joe tie. It's a, a primitive and flexible state management for React. Looks like this, similar to this. Spelled motions. To Joe tie. So you can use Atom, and Atom can respond the state changes. Mm. Okay. So I can write something like bar case. 
message is message dot to uppercase. Is it correct? Uh, to, hmm? No. No. Message is not defined. Oops. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. All right. This is interesting. So we are not limited to declaring declaring reactive values. Reactive values. Reactive values. So it's called reactive values. Reactive values. Show ties atom. You can also run arbitrary statements reactively. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's interesting. So let's count. So if you write this console message has been changed. Hmm. Mm hmm. Bottom. Bottom. Uh, change message. On click. Message call new message. That's a oh, cool. That's cool. Okay. Oh, you can also use a block. You can even put the Dallas colon in front of things like if blocks. If blocks. Nice. Oh, nice. Updating arrays and objects. Numbers to shoot numbers. Hmm. <laughs> so you can use if statements in the React reactive values okay so you can use a number some some hmm Join press. Oh, it's cool. Declaring props. Declaring props. Oh, okay, okay. Export. You can use export. Okay. Export message like that. And you can use it. this mm -hmm. what of this <laughs> no no created with unknown prop data 
error unexpected message oh I forgot to add red hmm hmm cool so you can use props like that Hoover. Hmm. First transition to court. Just like the right column, this may feel a little weird at first. That's not sure how export normally works in JavaScript modules. Just worry with it for now. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Info package speed rising. Hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. That's the same as React. HTML doesn't have a way of exploring logic. Hmm. Like conditions, okay. It's like uh, it's like Hamel in Ruby and HTML. It has a way of expressing logic in HTML. It is like Hamel. Like this, you can write uh, if you can write loops or conditional parts just like this. Okay, makes sense. Mm, it's very intuitive. Intuitive. Mm. <laughs> okay. Logic events, DOM events, inline handlers, bindings, text inputs, life cycle, life cycle, okay. Life cycle. On mount. Oh, yeah, it's right. That's right. Mount words right. Mm. Mount something like this. Oh, you can use a sync. That's cool. Yeah, 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 it's cool. So you can fetch data by using fetch. Hmm. On this try. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Tick. Other life cycle applications that it's called in any time, not just when you compile the first initiates. Hmm. Okay. So it has for handling life side events like amount
We're about to stick. like a defer function you can see that behavior in this example select the range of text and hit the tab key because the accelerated value changes that correction current selection is clear and the cursor jumps top key I'm angry to the end hmm? It doesn't update the DOM immediately, so immediately, so instead it waits until the next micro task to see with that. Okay, okay, that makes sense. All right. Hmm. Okay, that was fun. I'll share this note on the web. No. So you can check out my note here. Hmm. I'll put the link down in the description below. So here, here is how I take notes while running the new technology. Yes, so I hope you, I hope you enjoy it. And yeah. So, so Svelte is very interesting for me uh, because I, I basically use React for building uh, web apps. Um, it's basically designed for uh, server-side rendering, uh, dealing with server-side rendering and uh, for uh, building uh, uh, fast web, fast websites. And, and it's very intuitive uh, to accomplish the interactive features uh, by using the, this re reactivity. Yeah, that's cool. It's like, uh, it reminds me of using a, a functional reactive programming uh, program paradigm, paradigm. And it's, so it's uh, very fun, it's interesting, yeah. Yeah, that's it, so thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.